Hello YouTube. Um, just like I promised, I'll be making videos every Wednesday. And um, yeah, everything about eye touches, computers, anything I pretty much ask for. So today I'm gonna show you other tweaks that are compatible with iOS 4. Uh, that are pretty good to use, pretty useful, and I swear it will be worth a try to um, get these stuff. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I have a five icon dock. Whoops, sorry about that. I have a five icon dock. I'm not using the five icon dock thing. I'm using actually what I've been waiting for ever since last tweak is Infinite Dock. So I can have more. Um, on my dock, see, um, completely compatible with the iOS 4. I really don't know what the limit is, but yeah, I pretty much have what I want. I set the limit to 5 on each page, so yes, um, all I have to do is scroll. Just take them out because I'm okay with just 5. Uh, a little buggy though when you're trying to take them out. Any others? No. Alright. Another thing that works besides the um, InfiniDoc, um, as everybody already knows, you should also try Infinite Folders. If you haven't, don't know what that is yet, then um, it's actually when you can have more than 12 on each folder. Okay. Now, another thing that's pretty useful is called Loctopus. Most people have been using, um, I think, iProtect, but Loctopus is pretty much um, the same thing, but probably a little better because you don't have to open another app or stuff like that, or um, another settings stuff like that, and then respring. No, all you have to do is pretty much hold this, and then you see the little locks on each app. Um, all you have to do is check each one, um, click on the little lock like so. If you click on the app itself, then it won't work. So yeah, you just click on the little lock. So after that, if you want to deactivate, all you have to do is, um, to unlock, all you have to do is put in the password. The default password when you get it is, of course, password. Um, which is pretty good. Um, the only way to bypass this is if you get a notification from that one app. So if I'm going to show you right now, if say I want to go to settings, because some people do stupid stuff on settings, all I have to do is put in the password and then launch it. Free, um, it's not really free, but it's really simple to use. Um, I used um, one of those hacked repositories. Um, it even works on the multitasking. If you try to click, it asks for the password. Um, to change the password or anything like that, all you have to do is go to settings. Uh, whoops, let me type that again. Password. Type that again. And all you have to do is go to Lock the Piss to change the master password. Um, the only way if you want to reset the master password is to actually go to SB settings, respring, and then um, to safe mode and then reinstall it using the Assidia. Um, another thing I like to, uh, this was pretty useful now, is now I use the um, Iconoclasm. Um, Akinoclasm is now compatible with the iOS 4, and I used a 5x4. Um, it's even compatible, um, it even works with the SB rotator. Yeah, I even took out the names um, of each app because it looks cleaner and stuff like that. No, like because 5 with the really long names, like Final Fantasy 1 and 2, they have really long names and then they overlap each other, and I didn't want that. So it's fully compatible with SB rotator. Now, um, uh, what else? So, let's go here. I think every feature from Iconoclasm on 3.0 is compatible with the 4.0. Whoops. I don't know what I put. So, let's go here. Let's go down, and there you go, Iconoclasm. You could enable it, disable it, and then there's the uniform layout, which you have 5, 4, 5, 5, um, and all those other stuff. Um, one thing I did not like about when I first installed Iconoclasm is that it rearranged all my apps to its alphabetical order. 
and it took me about an hour to actually fix everything. Um, so yeah, another thing you should probably try out for the iOS 4 is called Notifier. Notifier is not compatible with iOS 4 and you should actually try it. And what it basically does is um, let you remind, on anything that has a status bar reminds you that you have stuff waiting. Like over here you can see um, a little mail icon that just signifies that I have mail. There are instances in which if you have messages you could actually have an alert um, symbol up there. So to change settings on that all you have to do is go here on an app that looks like that. It would say notifier. Um, so we just wait for it to load up. And then you can see um, these different symbols that might appear up there. Um, like over here say if you're on your eye touch but you know you still text on it um all you have to do is go to um where you go sms over here sms messages press same thing all you have to do is go here you can specify each app it works on anything say um sms support i put it to text free um, all you have to do is add and then put the application you want to um, that symbol to be on. Um, it works on pretty much anything. Just put in the exact name of the app you want to um, get notified of for SMS, text free, text now, anything like that. Um, it comes with others, but I didn't need all those because I didn't need that. Here's mobile mail. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty easy app. It's pretty useful. It's a there with the mail icon um, and then you have to just save there um, so that's pretty much it for that everybody knows about make it mine um, another people have been asking is about that thing um, how you get the megabytes of free memory right by your time pretty much is a um, settings more it's uh, um, pretty much something that comes with SP settings. So after you go there, all you have to do is go to, um, I think, System Options. Yeah, and then you go to Numeric Wi-Fi, Apple Kiss Switch. Wait, no. Sorry, but if you want the Numeric Wi-Fi, it's a little useful to see how much power you have running. So instead of the little bars. But I think you... Um, let me just find it real quick. You go to yeah, you go to SP options, SBS options, and then you put status free mem. You could also put status bar date, which will put like your date right next to your time, and other stuff you could do with your SP settings. So most of you are wondering about how I got that up there. Now you know. So I think that will be pretty much it, guys, about the um, tweaks that I have right now. If I may have others, I really don't know. Let me check my settings. I would like to thank everybody who actually viewed my videos. Well, my last video, I posted up. It has, well, right now it has 3,000, over 3,000. So I thank everybody who's actually been watching it. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for settings. Um, let's see. So there's your lock info, calendar, mail, notifications. Get a whole rack of notifications from Bandit Nation. And a little notifier thing still appears up there. Um, I just wish that uh, um, there would be an LS rotator, which would be pretty awesome. And uh, shrink will work. Well, I know shrink is out for iOS 4, but it's not cracked yet. Um, I sped up my iPod a little bit by using Winterboard to take out the names. I don't know if it sped it up a little or not. Um, but I did take out some stuff because I tried many tweaks out for this video. Um, so, yeah. We could delete, free up memory, of course. Most people already know the repositories. You already need to download all these from Cydia. Um, oh, right. One thing I'm going to show you, one more thing, is that you could actually teaser your iPod's Wi-Fi. Uh, and what I mean about that is that you could actually use your Wi-Fi. Say your computer doesn't get Wi-Fi signals or anything like that because it's pretty old or it's just like one of those sucky Vista ones that came with no Wi-Fi stuff. All you have to do is use the USB mode. Um, show you right here. And it's this thing called PDA Net. 
I'll show you that real quick. And there you go, PDA net. You could actually use it as a Wi-Fi, but I, that's basically for the iPhone. But if you just want to teaser your iTouch, all you have to do is um, use USB mode. Of course, you will need a program that you need to install from junefabrics.com slash desktop. And it'll be pretty easy. Uh, remember, after you're done using it, turn the PDA net off because it does take a load of battery off of your device. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it this thing locked puss um hopefully most people will find it interesting or easy to, easier to use than um um i protect or anything like that so yeah most people need spelling it's locked puss um thanks for watching guys um i'll be posting more videos that probably next wednesday because i plan doing this on like every week um so yeah Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Please comment, rate, subscribe, anything like that. Catch you next time.